When folks talk about the best SHTF or zombie apocalypse caliber or gun, it often leads to you know, 5.56 versus 7.62 by 39 or AR versus AK. Now, either way, few are going to argue the effectiveness in punch, you know, or knockdown stopping power of the 7.62 by 39 and especially the reliability of the AK-47. Now, one argument that, you know, many will make with either the 7.62 or the AK is accuracy. Now, what if we could put an optic Okay, on a 7.62 by 39 platform, either AK or AR, and make the accuracy a piece of cake. What if it made it simple and quick to hit targets from 50 to 500 yards, the top of the hill up there? Yeah, 500 yards with a 7.62 by 39. Now, Primary Arms SLX 3X Micro Prism AC SS Raptor. That's a mouthful. Okay, I'm just going to say the SLX um, in 7.62 or 300 blackout might just do this. Let's check it out and see what we can do. <laughs> you, you gotta love that. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, one reason many favor the AK-47 is its durability and reliability, and I don't think anybody's really going to argue against that. Now, it's really the KISS factor is huge for SHTF, so it goes without saying you would want the same for an optic. Now, for something like SHTF or an AK, you want something quick and easy to use a name. Let's just find out if the SLX Micro, Micro Prism does that and just how tough it is. Take a quick look at the specs and tech and we'll go from there. Yeah, I've been looking to get a hold of one of these for quite some time. And they recently had a sale. I shot that out on my crazy stupid deals, almost $100 off. This is a Blem version. Okay, let's just see if we can actually find the Blem. Comes, you know, with everything as normal. It's all nice and wrapped up. Let's see if we can find anything on this. Okay, well, I don't know about you, but I don't see anything. I see no blim, which is often the case. Okay, um, let's just finish unboxing here. Okay, it has all the different mounts. You have so many crazy options with these. I absolutely love these. And then in the box, it comes with the screws. And it comes with the tools. Okay, so I can't seem to find any blem on it. Um, I've noticed that 
the primary arm primary arms always sends their electro optics with the batteries in so they're good to go so you're not going to find a battery in the box just want to show you quick here with these three different risers or four if you include what's on there you can do this with it you have countless possibilities here for configuration the only one that is potentially see-through okay and i haven't tried it with iron sights is that one anyway there we go let's uh let's start having some fun nice right but how does it function looks great on paper does that equate to reality now i'm going to start with mounting this on radical firearms ar and 762 i did a review on this it's a great shooter check this out okay so i'm getting the micro zeroed here at 50 yards and we're using some tula 762 by 39 I like the 154 grain soft point. You know, when I found a deal on this several years ago, I got it because I actually find I get better groups um, than the, you know, the more common 122, 123 grain full metal jacket. Plus, it makes a great hunting round. And for me, it's just overall better. Um, let's see what we can do here at 50 yards. Okay, real quick, just show you the sight picture here. I really do like the sight picture on these optics. Okay, I think you might be surprised at those groups. Let's go take a look. Okay, you're gonna have to ignore a lot of this. I was, that's a 22. I'm working on a tandem cross cranking, anyway. Uh, you can kind of see over here, I was dialing it in up to here, and then I moved down, and I had some different shot groups, and then I did the final adjustment. There we go, guys. That's five shots. I think, I think I'm going to be really happy with uh, the elevation. I think I'm going to do two clicks to the left and see if we can just sort of center all that right around that bullseye, and then we're going to move out to some steel. But, you know, that's not bad using... Tula. <laughs> All right. There we go. That was my last five shot group. Guys, I'm really happy with that. You know, Tula out of a 12 inch barrel with a 3X prism optic. You know, I think I might do one click to the right and then just call that good. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with those groups at 100 yards. Let's just check them out. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with that, guys. Okay, so that was, that was a zero at 50 yards. This is using two light. Now, I'm using, this is Springfield's St. Um, edge the atc elite you know five five six i mean and then that that's sweet you know and this is using a 12 inch uh radical firearms 762 by 39 with uh with the primary arms 3x uh micro that rocks guys let's just start banging on some steel let's see how far we can go with this I forgot and i want to make sure and give credit here this is radical firearms uh, 762 by 39 i did a review on this man guys this is it's just an awesome gun um when i did the review on it i had an absolute blast it, it surprised me with the accuracy and it is further just shocking me um you know you just saw that group there at 100 yards, I love this optic. I love the optic. I love the gun. Um, I'm just excited. Yeah, I want to start banging out at 200, 300, uh, see how far we can go. Um, and this is just, yeah, guys, I mean, we're using Tula here. That just, that rocks. Okay, guys, I was going to stop. You know, it's getting, getting close to 6, and I've been shooting all day, and I'm tired. Um, but that, that group just got me totally jazzed up. Um, let's, let's see what we can do here. 200, we'll, we'll use that BDC and then we'll go do a uh, three and four. Yeah, 
that was just way too easy. Let's uh, let's do three hundred. All right, let's go four hundred. <laughs> I ran out of ammo. Hold on. Now, people are always asking questions. This is an ASC mag. I've not had any issues with this whatsoever. This is the 762 by 39 AR mag. Let's go back up there to 400. <laughs> that's using 762 by 39. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, let's let's try five. Let's give it a go. Man, that's reaching. There we go. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It'll Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Nice! 500 yards, guys. That's what I'm talking about. 500 yards. Get a little foggy out here, but uh, let's just see what we can do standing here. We'll start at 200 yards. Nice. All right, let's try three. That's going to get gets challenging. Nice. Nice. All right. I think that was it. <laughs> we got it at three. Man, that's, I mean, that's pushing. It's hard. It's hard to stand. Anyway, um, that, that rocks, guys. I'm really, really liking this. What I want to do now is we're going to take it off and we're going to torture test this. Um, we're going to see how much abuse this can take. Hopefully... Um, stays intact and keeps working and then I'm going to put it right back on the exact same spot and then we'll see uh, go from so there. give this the G-Force test. We're up here second story. We're going to give it a good toss. Uh, 
That was a good toss. So we gave it a good toss up there, you know, giving it a little extra loft. You know, we probably got, oh, 17, 20 feet. Okay, well, that should have shaken away. <laughs> All right, let's submerge it. I want to test now that we dropped it because, you know, that makes for a better torture test because we potentially jarred something loose, and now we're going to text, test the IPX rating or the water submersion test. Um, it's IPX 6.7, you know, which should be a meter for 30 minutes. This is uh, just shy of a meter. I happen to have this left over from processing honey. Anyway, let's just toss it in there. And we'll give it some time in there. All right, well, it's been sitting in there about a half hour, 25 minutes. Let's pull her out. I'll just examine it here and see if we got any water Does in there. Not appear to have any water in there. I'm going to dry it off and examine it closely. Okay, I was uh, not able to detect any uh, breach, no fluid in there that I can that I can tell. So let's just throw it here and we'll freeze it. And this is a great test because if there's water down in some of those mechanisms, um, the expansion and stuff it gives it a good test. We'll come back and see how it does. Okay, it should be good and frozen. Yeah, that pizza it looks good. If you haven't seen one of my pizza recipes, all right, yeah, it's good and frozen. Let's uh, let's get it thawed out. Make sure that uh, the integrity hasn't been breached, and get it mounted and start shooting again. In case there's any doubt. Um, that it was frozen. Okay, so we torture tested it. As far as I can tell, it is completely intact. I don't see any kind of condensation, any water, any breach whatsoever in the integrity of the optic. I put it right back on. I want to see if I can get those same groups that I was getting here at 100 yards. I do have my suppressor on it, though, this time. Um, I don't think that'll make too much of a difference. Uh, let's just give it a go and see how it works. Okay, real quick here, I just noticed this came out of the base plate. Um, I'll try to get another view here and show you. Um, it's what happens when cheap steel gets used for screws, and that is a huge pet peeve of mine. When it comes to screws, that is the one place that we need some seriously hard steel because there's nothing worse than strip screws or something like this, but uh, I'm sure they'll just send me another one here and we'll take care of that. I'm gonna continue on with the review. We'll see what happens with one screw in. Okay, yeah, so here's where the screw came out of. Now, yeah, I probably did, uh, obviously I, I probably tightened a little too much, um, but in, in, at least in my opinion, we should have strong enough steel that <laughs> no matter how hard I'm, I'm turning with my hands, I shouldn't be able to break this off, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so having the can off, it did change the zero a little bit, and then taking this completely on and off, I did get the, the broken screw out. Now, I've got that replaced. I got it back on. It was only off um, you know, by an inch or so. So I've got that re-zeroed. Let's see what we can do again out at some distance here. All right, now we're going back up to four. Nice. Nice. All right, let's try five again. <laughs> All right. Guys, it doesn't get any better than that. Okay, so I'm working on another review with the gas mask. The whole idea is is that you can shoot with it. And I just thought, hey, you know, no video is complete of a 762 by 39, you know, sort of without the, the apocalypse mask on.
There you go, guys. There just ain't no quit in me today. So, you know, I'm gonna go with a different one. I've got my Galil Ace. Now this thing, this thing is tank proof, bomb proof. We should be good to go. No fancy trigger, nothing. Gonna get it re-zeroed, and then we're gonna go to the distance again. Okay, we're starting over again. I've got this now on my IWI Galil Ace pistol. Okay, this is the 7.62x39. This is the one of the nicest AKs that you can get. We've got a really short barrel. I threw my can on it because it is loud. Um, I, th I don't know. I'd have to look. I think it's like an 8-inch barrel. It's short. So, you know, it's going to test the, the BDC. Let's just start at 200 here. And uh, I got some decent groups over there. Actually, really good groups. Surprises me. Uh, then again, it doesn't. Let's just... That puts a smile back on my face. Okay, let's try 300 up there on the hill. See if we can do it with the AK platform. Let's see if we can hit it at four. There we got it. <laughs> nice guys, there you go. Okay, so the, the skeptics, you know, oh yeah, he, he was using an AR platform. Okay, not only was I using an AK-47 and banging that steel at 500 yards, I was using an AK pistol with, uh, you know, whatever we got on here, I'll have to look it up. Eight inch barrel, that says a lot. There you have it, it is what it is. You decide what you think. Um, it was interesting, it was a lot of fun. Um, the optic did great. Uh, had some, you know, interesting challenges with some of the other stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Guys, guys, this really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Every time we're out getting some trigger time, remember, you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment, so be a safe and responsible gun owner.